Misery, 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 that's all you've chosen. I offered you friendship, and you spat in my face. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Spider-Man No Way Home video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be my breakdown of the trailer, the teaser trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. We got the trailer late last night, and everyone went insane over it. We've had just about a day to recover now, or at least half a day to recover now. So let's go over it. Let's talk about some of the things you may have missed, some Easter eggs, and some really cool references to the past Spider-Man movies. Before we jump into everything, though, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy the video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support, and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, or if you're hyped for Spider-Man No Way Home like I am, leaving a like rating would be awesome also if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more coverage on this movie from me well i am absolutely going to deliver on that i'll be reacting to more upcoming trailers and footage that we're going to get from spider-man no way home we'll definitely do more breakdowns and overall i'm going to cover this movie as much as possible and share with you my excitement for it if that sounds good to you also consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. And lastly, wanted to remind you guys, I am sponsored by G Fuel. Make sure to get yourself some tubs, shaker cups, cans, starter kits, whatever it might be, or you can pre-order the upcoming Venom Let There Be Carnage G Fuel. The link is in the description. Just make sure you use code CABOOSE at checkout. With all that being said, Let's jump in and break down the teaser trailer. Okay, so things start off with a very touching moment between MJ and Peter on a rooftop. This is after the events of Far From Home where Peter's identity has been revealed to the public and it looks like MJ's reading a newspaper that kind of details some rumors as to what Peter's powers are as Spider-Man. You can also see there that the newspaper has a headline that says Peter Parker and his spider minion with a little picture there of Peter Parker as Spider-Man playing with puppets one of them being Ned his friend so I don't know exactly what the implications are there or how Ned is going to feel about something like this but it certainly seems like the public is really going after Peter here we get another brief cameo from the man himself JK Simmons as J Jonah Jameson as he is saying in Times Square with Peter's face plastered everywhere that Peter Parker is Spider-Man so again the entire public, the world at this point, knows who he is, and his entire life is about to change. This is something that I actually really liked about this trailer, is a showcase of the stakes, and a showcase as well of the consequences to Peter's actions. What he did in Far From Home, even though he didn't actually kill Mysterio, but what he did, the way he interacted with, with Mysterio, his irresponsibility has led to this huge moment that's going to change his life forever and it's going to have massive ramifications which i really enjoy there's something that's important about a spider-man story where it includes those stakes and it includes those ramifications those consequences to peter or spider-man's actions then we cut to this scene in i believe a police department peter has been arrested he's got handcuffs and he's handcuffed to the table being interrogated essentially and some people are speculating that this person who's about to walk in here with this button-up shirt is indeed charlie cox as matthew murdoch daredevil I don't think that's the case because I don't know if a lot of people forgot, but Daredevil is blind <laughs> and whoever's walking in here kind of looks like they, they know where they're going. I mean, not that Daredevil doesn't usually know he, he has that heightened ability, but also when he is Matthew Murdoch, he still has to play the facade. So he has to have the walking stick and everything. None of that here. So I don't think this is Matthew Murdoch specifically, but I'm assuming at some point during this scene, we may see the cameo from Charlie Cox returning as Daredevil in this film, which I am really excited about. As we move forward, we can see a shot of Peter returning, I believe, to school. He's being escorted by police. This may be after proven innocence. This may be after he's kind of let go. I'm not entirely sure, but we see someone holding up a sign that says Devil in Disguise. And this may actually play an important role in the movie. This may be some foreshadowing here. Some people are speculating that Doctor Strange, clearly not acting like himself in this movie, may be... The one and only, <laughs> the coveted, infamous Mephisto. I don't know if I necessarily buy into the theater theory, but it could be possible. I'm not entirely sure what's going on because, yeah, Doctor Strange does act a little out of character in this movie, especially in this trailer. So we'll see what happens, but I don't know if this right away is the confirmation Mephisto's gonna be in Spider-Man No Way Home. Then we kind of see some shots, some nice moments again between Peter and MJ, and Peter's going through the motions, and Ned gets arrested to be interrogated. The same thing with Aunt May. 
And then Peter sees what looks like a Halloween ornament, which gives us an idea as to when this movie takes place of Doctor Strange. That leads him to the Sanctum Sanctorum to potentially ask Stephen Strange if he can reverse this whole reveal that he is Peter Parker as Spider-Man to the world. When we get to the Sanctum, it's all snowed in. This is probably because of the hole in the roof that was crashed through by Bruce Banner in Avengers Infinity War. Why Stephen Strange hasn't fixed that yet, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I know he was snapped during the events of Avengers Infinity War, but it seems like it's probably been some time since Avengers Endgame when he was brought back. So I'm not entirely sure what Steven's doing. Maybe he just likes the aesthetic of the entire sanctum being all covered in ice and snow. Maybe he maybe he likes the, the look in the parka and the sweatpants. You know, casual Steven Strange, it's kind of a cool look. I can't lie, it kind of goes hard. So maybe that's just why I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. But as well, this could be hinting towards some sort of arrogance maybe that Doctor Strange has, maybe some sort of carelessness that he is carrying after the events of Endgame. They've saved the universe, as he says to Peter during this scene. So maybe after that, he's just kind of not caring anymore. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Like we did the big job. Let's just have some fun from here on out. That would be a weird character motivation, especially for someone who's gone through as impressive of an arc as Doctor Strange has in the MCU. But if there were to be an explanation, that potentially could be one as to why he acts a little reckless in this trailer. The next shot we have here is of Peter ripping off his mask and running through what is actually the feast shelter. You can see there in the top right that says feast. It's a little hard to make out but this is a feast shelter a lot of people who've played spider-man ps4 you know what's going on here maybe aunt may is working at feast maybe we're gonna see some easter eggs or some seeds planted for mr negative that could definitely be interesting but also worth noting peter is wearing a black and gold suit this is a suit that was leaked through promotional material or kind of revealed through promotional material and some toys that are out there for spider-man no way home and potentially this suit is going to allow peter to use some of Doctor Strange's abilities. I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work, but there have been promotional photos put out for toys, especially the hot toys for this suit that show Peter utilizing Doctor Strange's magic. So I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work in the context of the movie, but we shall see. You also see one of the people here working at the Beast Shelter pointing Spider-Man into a direction to where he needs to run. So it looks like they're maybe on his side. Maybe the public is helping out Peter here to lead him to where he needs to go. Then we see our main man Wong as per usual when some crazy events are about to go down. He's like, hey guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> he's packing his bags and he's heading somewhere, maybe towards the events of Shang-Chi, which we're about to see releasing in theaters on September 3rd. We know that he is in the movie and he's fighting Abomination, so maybe that's where he's heading. Maybe that's how we're kind of connecting the dots there or that through line from Shang-Chi to Spider-Man No Way Home. And with Wong leaving, this leads to a part of the trailer that a lot of people are questioning. Why Stephen Strange is acting so reckless here? He is casting this spell after Wong advised him not to. And as well, one of the potential side effects of this spell, if things go wrong, is opening up the entire multiverse. I'm not sure if that's something that Stephen Strange would play around with, unless it's just a part of his character. You know, again, since Endgame and them saving the universe, he's become a little more reckless. He's just kind of having fun now. He's helping out Peter, maybe because he owes a debt, considering Peter was there with him during the events of Infinity War, helped him, saved him from Ebony Maw. That could be a part of it as well. So. Again, I think that this is going to be a scene that we maybe need a little more context to. We need to see what's going on within the context of the full movie to get a bit more of an understanding. Um, if it ends up being that it just plays out the same way, that is a little weird. I will say that would be something I'd consider a negative. I don't think I'm going to lose too much sleep over it, though, especially if it means this is what ushers in Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man into this movie alongside some of the villains that we're gonna see later on in this trailer. We then get into some of the Doctor Strange wild visuals that you may remember from his movie showing up here in this film as he's probably kind of going through a lesson for Peter to understand what just happened, but also maybe chasing Peter through the streets of New York. I'm not entirely sure why, but that'll lead into another scene that we're gonna see in a second. Right here though, this is where things get hella interesting. You see what looks like some kind of sandstorm and a lot of dust and sand everywhere. Then we see some yellow electricity striking these NYPD police cruisers. There's also a Daily Bugle van there. Is this 
Sandman and Electro working together. We know Jamie Foxx is coming back as Electro in this movie, which I gotta say, I am very excited for him to get the opportunity and a second chance as that character and potentially Thomas Hayden Church, I believe that's the actor's name from Spider-Man 3, may be returning as the Sandman, which could be really exciting as well because I think one of the more redeeming parts of Spider-Man 3 is his performance, is his part in the film as Sandman. And seeing them come back in this movie would be amazing. Seeing villains from the Amazing Spider-Man universe working alongside villains from the Raimi universe would be crazy. I know some people will also question why the lightning is yellow when Electro in the Amazing Spider-Man films was blue and he had the blue electricity. I'm just going to assume that this is either a retcon or maybe that it's just going to be one of many variants from the multiverse that this version of Electro was plucked from. And in that version, he is the yellow lightning Electro, you know? So we'll see how that ends up playing out in the context of the movie once again. But I think that I'm okay with them retconning some of the stuff from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I, I know a lot of people have their problems with that movie and myself included, I think Electro was a little too goofy and I don't mind if they're gonna redesign him or make him a little more comic accurate in this movie. But following this scene between what may be Electro and Sandman, we see Doctor Strange facing off against Spider-Man, doing some mind-bending magic, messing around with a train here, which is actually important. They're on a train. This may be a parallel to that iconic sequence from Spider-Man 2, the Raimi films, between Spider-Man and Doc Ock. The train fight is incredible. It's one of the greatest scenes in any comic book movie. And this may parallel that here in Spider-Man No Way Home between Doctor Strange and Spider-Man. Again though, why is Doctor Strange chasing Spider-Man down like this? I'm not entirely sure, but this may give evidence to the theory that he's kind of gone bad in some way. And maybe we're gonna find out more of what's going on with him leading into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which is gonna be launching early next year. I'm excited to see what's going on, why he's chasing Peter, why he's hunting him down like this because it seems like he's kind of pissed. I mean, he looks he looks mad there. <laughs> and to be honest, this whole part of the trailer just is about Doctor Strange being pissed at Peter. He's trying to teach him some lessons. He's doing that projection thing that we know from Doctor Strange where he pushes your soul out of your body or whatever. And Peter's holding something in his hand, some sort of cube. Maybe he's stolen that from Doctor Strange. Maybe that has something to do with the spell that he just cast. And Doctor Strange is like, hey, I got to reverse it. I just messed some things up. And Peter's like, no, 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 no. I can't let MJ or Aunt May forget who I am because that's important to my life and where I was. So I'm, I'm not sure, but maybe this holds some sort of important, this little cube in Peter's hand holds some sort of importance as to why Doctor Strange was chasing him. We see a shot of some special ops agents, I don't know, CIA, whatever it may be, and they're aiming their guns on Happy Hogan. Don't know what's happening here, but again, this may be part of Peter's identity being revealed and Happy being involved with Spider-Man and Peter Parker, maybe getting arrested, I, I don't know. But now this moment is huge. This moment is something that a lot of people actually kind of missed. Peter here is somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where, but something strikes what looks to be an invisible barrier. Maybe they're imprisoned. And when you see that orange effect, that obviously leads me to believe it's something with Doctor Strange imprisoning this being, this thing, which a lot of people are speculating right now may be the lizard. Some people are saying Venom. I don't think that's going to happen. I think Venom, especially having his own movie coming out in October, is just going to be his own thing in his own universe. We may see Spider-Man facing off against Venom or Carnage in the future, but I think for now, Sony is doing their thing with Venom and Morbius and now Kraven the Hunter is getting his own movie, while the MCU and Spider-Man and his involvement there still very much stays within the MCU. So I think this might actually be the lizard from the Amazing Spider-Man films. And when people brighten it up, you can see it's some sort of monster clawing at this invisible projection that's keeping him imprisoned. So why he's in there, I don't know. Why Peter is here right now, what he's doing here, I don't know as well. But the next shot, once again, featuring that yellow lightning, Peter in that black suit where he might be using the Doctor Strange magic and what may be a bunch of sand rising from the ground. Doctor Strange might be here as well, helping out Peter. Maybe he's rising up the ground to save Peter from that electricity. 
I don't know what's happening again it's a lot of this stuff is really quick and blink and you'll miss it but you see that yellow electricity clear as day Electro's doing something here facing off against spider-man and it gets me really really hyped but this next moment is the moment for me in the trailer more so for me than the hello peter actually i will say alfred merlino returning saying hello peter that, that was pretty freaking hype but i love willem dafoe as green goblin and seeing a pumpkin bomb from the raimi films on screen in an mcu spider-man movie gets me so effing hyped i can't even explain it to you and then i'm just gonna play for you this it's the laugh it is him willem dafoe is back as the green meanie imagine if he joined us <laughs> He's blowing up this bridge. There seems to be some sort of massive sequence because we see that pumpkin bomb on the bridge. And then as well, we see Alfred Merlina returning as Doc Ock here on that same bridge. So this all comes from the same sequence. I don't know what's about to go down, but I need to comment on this scene. This scene in particular of Alfred Mer Merlina returning as Doc Ock saying, hello, Peter. I have commented on this on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at KabooseDK, linked in the description. Um, but to talk about it and elaborate on it more, I feel like he's not talking to Tom Holland here. I actually think that Doc Ock is talking to Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Hear me out, okay? And a lot of people have tried to refute my theory with the counter that Peter's identity has been revealed. His face is plastered everywhere. So of course he's just going to be like, hello, Peter. Cause he knows that Spider-Man is Peter Parker. He is understanding of the identity being revealed, but let me just play you this clip and tell me that the line delivery, that smug smile, and as well, just in general, Alfred Molina's performance doesn't mirror the way he spoke to Toby's Peter Parker from the Raimi film. Peter Parker. And the girlfriend. Hello, Peter. I'm telling you, those things are connected. I have a very strong feeling that this trailer is just cut in a way to make it seem like he is talking to Peter Parker Spider-Man and then, or to Tom Holland Spider-Man. And then Tom Holland Spider-Man kind of suits up here getting ready for battle. But I think within the context of the actual movie, this is Doc Ock talking to Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, addressing him as Peter, having known that he is Peter Parker through the events of Spider-Man 2. Now, I know a lot of people then are going to refute that with, well, at the end of Spider-Man 2, when he found out that Peter Parker was Spider-Man, he kind of comes to the realization that he is doing so much wrong and he turns good at the very end or he sacrifices himself. Yes, but again, this is the multiverse. There are infinite possibilities, literally infinite possibilities so maybe this version of doc ock comes from a universe where he doesn't have that self-realization where he doesn't think that all that he is doing is terrible and tries to sacrifice himself for the greater good maybe he comes from a universe where he doesn't care that peter parker is spider-man and that he still wants to destroy the city in a multiverse of infinite possibilities anything can happen spider-man no way home is out on december 17th this christmas i am beyond excited and i hope you guys are too and that pretty much does it for my breakdown and the things you may have missed as well as some theories that i have some speculation i now want to kick it to you guys though let me know your thoughts in the comment section below is there anything that i may have missed when breaking down this trailer if there is sound off in the comments i'd love to hear your theories your speculation or as well some easter eggs that you may have caught that i didn't cover here in this video and with that said if you enjoyed the video if you could consider leaving a like rating on it it would show your support and i would really appreciate it i'm caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on instagram and twitter those links are going to be in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new See you guys later.